Good morning. It is Vlogmas Day 20. Oh my goodness, we've hit a two at the front of the number. It is so close. Vlogmas is almost over. I can't believe it. But today is new hair and new nails and final preparations for my parents' arrival. So I'm very excited and I have a feeling that today is going to fly by because I have all of that stuff to do. So uh, let's go ahead and get to it. number 20 right on top let's see who we have oh goofy I'm not normally much of a goofy fan but this is the cutest goofy I've ever seen he's dressed as a Christmas tree and he might be up there in my favorites for this entire box now how adorable is that so I think I forgot to tell you guys this, but when I moved here, I had to find a stylist and I found one that I really liked and I went to her twice. She did my hair cut uh, in September, right before Horror Nights, and then she dyed it and cut it in November. And then she quit doing hair. <laughs> she went and started doing makeup full time and is no longer doing hair styling. So I had to find a new stylist. So I'm going in to see this stylist for the first time, which makes me a little nervous, I'm sure all the ladies out there understand it's already nerve-wracking when you go to a new stylist and then I just dyed my hair for the first time because I trusted her because I really liked what she did the first time and I liked her personal style and uh, so now I'm going to get my hair dyed and cut by someone I don't know and uh, hoping it goes well but I've seen her Instagram account full of other things she's done and it looks really good so cross your fingers for me it's a little a little nerve-wracking and uh, we'll see what I look like when I come back, wish me luck. Okay, so here is the after. Obviously, I just walked out of the salon, so the curls are extra poofy. But look how pretty. Oh, I really like it. So we just retoned it, and she trimmed it and gave me some layers. And uh, I'll show, show it to you again once my hair uh, calms down a little bit. But I think it looks really pretty. So, success. But I went and got my nails done. So let me show you. They're Christmassy. There we go. Success this time. No failure. Pretty red with gold on the ring finger. Yay! Success! This time my vision came true. <laughs> so now that I've got uh, new pretty hair, new pretty nails, I am ready for Christmas now. <laughs> I am good to go. So it is time to finish my pre-Christmas errands. I couldn't get a couple things at Kroger yesterday. They were out of a couple things they need that I needed. So I'm gonna go to HEB and try to get the rest of the things I need. Okay, so before driving off, I was like, oh, let me just check my phone because I haven't looked at it in a while. And I had two comments on the vlog from yesterday already <laughs> where I had uh, Dale driving the, or riding in the sleigh. You might be from Florida if you have no idea how a sleigh actually works. And so far, uh, Mara and Sandra have informed me that that the rain thing is actually supposed to go in front of the sleigh so that he can pull the sleigh and someone else can sit inside of it. But I'm cracking up on myself because if it wasn't clear that I'm from Florida before, then it should be clear now because I clearly have no idea how sleighs actually function. <laughs> and I think that's hysterical. So I'm gonna go home and fix that, but thank you guys for uh, for letting me know. Uh, yep, yep, that, that happened. So I came to the PO and there were cards. So I'll open them when I get home, but yay, more Christmas cards. Okay, back home now and brushed out my hair so it actually uh, looks really pretty now. They're, they've got the hanger going on. I came home and uh, the hanger is real. Oh boy. So while I'm thinking about it, let me fix Dale here since I had him all wrong. <laughs> oh, there we go. Now Dale is pulling Pluto. <laughs> Thanks for helping me guys. I'm clearly clueless. I also went ahead and opened the Christmas cards we got. So we got this adorable one from Elizabeth, who I've never seen come before, so this was a surprise. So I got a nice little card from Elizabeth. You have a fantastic name. Love your name. And uh, I would love to see your babies, your Hazelnut and Henry. They sound adorable. And I love this card. And we got one from Sandy's family. Super cute. Is it focused on their faces? Yeah, there we go. One from Sandy's family. Sandy's one of the ones who helped me get the uh, sleigh right. So 
Thank you for that. And then one from Jordan and Rachel, who are Disneyland vloggers, and we got to meet them when we were at Disneyland back in November. So that is awesome. Thanks for the awesome cards, guys. If you included your address on the card, I will be sending you a card back. Probably won't make it there before Christmas, but you'll still get a card back from me. So I'll get on that and I'll try to get that out soon. So thank you so much. You guys know I love Christmas cards, so it made me happy. So tonight I'm making the baked eggplant parmesan from Plated. It includes garlic bread and it's supposed to be 780 calories per person. Jeff actually made this one last night and said it's a huge amount of food. So can't wait to try it. Looks delicious. garlic butter to put on top of the garlic bread. Going to be delicious. So eggplant just has a little bit of oil on it and then salt and pepper. Let's go in the oven. So we added some Parmesan cheese and the parsley and the dough balls into the garlic butter. And now we're going to actually form the little pull-apart bread. So this is going to get messy so probably not touching the camera for a while. So there's the bread finishing up. And the eggplant on the bottom. Yum. Who's jealous right now? Because these look amazing. Oh yeah. So there it is, straight out of the oven, bubbling hot. Looks so good. Garlic bread, eggplant parmesan. Yum. So here is the final product. This smells so yummy. Yay, last mm -hmm. meal before my parents arrive. It's the final supper. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'm in here getting ready to clean bathrooms and I just hear this burrowing noise and let's play a fun game of see if you can find Foster. I'll give you three guesses where he is right now. Is it here? Nope, that's just Mike's hockey laundry. Hmm. Hmm. Is it there? Nope, that's just the binky. But, uh, what about, what about under here? Could there be a foster bean? <gasps> oh, hi. Oh, hi. Did you burrow into bed? <laughs> Did mom find you? I don't know how ever I could find where you were. You were so well hidden. You enjoy your burrow. Mom's got to clean bathrooms. Thank you for the kisses. It's so funny to me how different the uh, hair color picks up in the camera than in real life. It was like that for my other color too. Like, uh, it's when I hit when I hit record. I don't know. There's something weird about this camera where when you just have it in regular mode before you start filming, it looks really pretty. The color looks really good in it. Just in any any general, I'm just playing with my hair at the moment, but. Then as soon as you hit record, it goes paler. I don't know, something weird, a weird quirk with this camera where when I look at it to begin with, I'm like, ooh, that looks great. And then I started, I'm like, oh no, no, I look pale and terrible. I'm gonna clean bathrooms now, which means I'm not gonna look this cute anymore. So I had to like give one last uh, narcissistic look at my beautiful hair before I get messy cleaning bathrooms. <laughs> Goodbye. How many of your dogs do this, guys, when they lay down? Oh, just block the shot, Foster. It's cool. <laughs> Film me, not him. Okay, good. You found your spot. Are you happy now? Are you going to tilt your head anytime I say, are you, even though you've already had dinner? Are you comfortable now? You are ridiculous. I already fed you both. You're not getting a second dinner just because I said, are you? <laughs> There's some real wishful thinking there, little meerkat. You already ate dinner. That already happened. It was three hours ago, and I know that's an eternity to you, but it's not the next day yet. I'm sorry. Yeah, come on up. 
and then just steal his spot. You are such a little brat. <laughs> Did he just do that to you? Oh. All right, you're getting dessert. You're getting dessert. You have me trained, yes. I never do this, but it's Christmas. It's Christmas. Hey boys. Ash is already sitting. Can you give me a high five? High five. Good boy. Good boy. Sit. Come here, cat. Good boy. Whoop. There you go. My new Erin Condren just arrived. Just in time, because I've only got one more week in my previous one. Ta-da! Here is my new planner. I got cacti, because I love cacti. And I got rose gold this time around. And I ended up going for the neutral one. I had the color one last time. But the new one, I just didn't like the fact that the swirls came all the way up here. So if you had stickers that didn't match, it wasn't going to work. So it's neutral, which means my stickers, I can do whatever I want. But most importantly, I've got my cacti. I've got new hair, new nails, new planner. It's a it's a whole new day today. <laughs> Everything. So it is time for some chocolate. Day 20 right here. Yay! It's a red ball. These are so delicious. Ash is not amused by the red ball. Oh, sweet boy. It's time for a question from the hat because we've only got three questions left, I think, and five days left of Vlogmas, but two of those days are Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, so I'm gonna get these out of the way. So this one is from Sarah. What do you find most interesting slash unexpected slash awesome about living in Texas as opposed to living in Florida. Okay, so Mike was on a work call and I didn't want to distract him slash him distract me while I was answering that. So I just moved in here in order to answer the question. So I've been trying to think of my answer too because I've already said that the people in Texas were really nice and that was surprising. One of the things that I really appreciate is that the people here seem to still really get into holidays, which I was seeing less and less of, probably just the areas I was living in, in Orlando and Sarasota, where you didn't really see Halloween decorations, you didn't really see Christmas decorations. Here, it, they go all out. Like Halloween, our neighborhood was full of inflatables. <laughs> like there were all sorts of huge Halloween displays. Do you hear that? That's the Rottweiler. <laughs> That's the Rottweiler that keeps us up all night long. Last night, she started doing this at 4.30 in the morning, and then again at 6.30 in the morning. She's driving us nuts. <laughs> so anyway, uh, Halloween, everyone went full out, and now Christmas, like, the day after Thanksgiving, the majority of the neighborhood had already decorated for Christmas. And we felt so behind by waiting till December 1st or December 2nd to get our Christmas decorations up. But the whole rest of the neighborhood was like already had all of their decorations up on November 25th. It was like, forget Black Friday, we're doing all of our Christmas decorating. So it's really nice to just drive everywhere and see Christmas lights everywhere. Because I feel like a lot of neighborhoods, people aren't doing it anymore. People aren't putting that full effort in. And here it is definitely still part of the culture to go full out for the holidays, which is why... I it's really fun to go Christmas light hunting, which I think we'll do probably Christmas Eve. And I just love doing that. I love seeing all the displays and the fact that people still get really into it. Here's the burrow in action. And you got your head in there. <laughs> Is that all you're going to do? All right, there we go, and he's in. All right. So I am gonna go ahead and sign off for tonight because I need to edit and then do the last minute preparations for my parents to arrive tomorrow. So I will see you guys then. Lots of fun stuff coming up now that they're here. So see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>